In my last film on Friday, I reviewed this guy, the Wanho Duplicator i3 Plus. And during that review, I actually had smoke come out of this corner. And it turns out there was actually a spark as well. Now it was kind of a mystery at the time I went on and finished printing with it, but I went back and figured out what the problem was. And it turns out it's something very serious actually. There's a serious electrical short going on here. And I want to show you how to fix it and I want to let everyone know about this so they can fix their machines or any machine with a similar heated bed. So first I'm going to give you the background of it and then I'll show you what the problem is and how I fixed it. I don't know, I got a... a ah! I saw smoke coming out of this corner. I felt something was hot and then I saw smoke. That is not good. So I started by taking off all the adjustment knobs in each corner so I could lift the bed off. And then I lifted it off and took the springs out so I wouldn't lose them. And then I needed to flip this thing over so I could check what the bottom looked like. So in order to do that, and check mainly this corner right here. Uh, I needed to slide it back and then flip it and then bring it forward. And as I did that, I thought I saw something in that corner. So I needed to look closer at this corner right here because there was something there. So I got out my camera with a zoom lens and I noticed there was arcing here between the bed and the nut. So I powered up the printer. I didn't heat the bed, but I powered up the printer. And then I got out my voltmeter and I measured that point to the chassis ground. And look at I saw 24 volts at that point that was exposed. I couldn't believe it. There were two points here actually where the bolts and it looks like the spring. The spring was cutting into the circuit trace. So I shoved the bed to the side and I checked this other side for ground. So I probed the 24 volt point and ground and I'm seeing 24 volts. But this bed is sitting on a plate that's sitting on bearing. So the question is, could this plate actually be grounded? And it didn't show voltage until I got, you notice it flashed, until I got to a certain point. And then all of a sudden I had conductivity through this bed, through the bearings, into the shaft, and into the base. And there it is, 24 volts at that position. So then I went to the bearing thinking the bearing was making conductivity with the shaft and this is the path it was taking and and that's what I believed and that's what I put out initially for this video but then I pulled the video because someone had commented that the bearings were actually plastic and didn't believe that could be the conductivity point so I went back and dug deeper and found out they were right it wasn't the bearing actually it was the bracket in the center that pulls the plate back and forth. The screws at certain points rub against the metal. So that was actually the conductivity point. So in addition to finding that this is where it was grounding, I also realized that the bed was rubbing. So that's gonna affect my print quality. So this needs to be fixed as well. I gotta get that plate to not rub against the screws. But let's continue on with the electrical portion of this and why this is so serious to me. So this is how the current flows. It flows through the heated bed element, but then through those bad connections it goes into the spring. It goes down through the spring and also from the nut and bolt, through the bottom plate which is all conductive metal, and then into that center bracket that has the screws rubbing against the base. And from there it goes into ground. So that's the path it was taken and this needs to be stopped. And that's why it needs to be insulated right here. And let me show you how I did that by using an insulated washer. So I found these fiber non-conductive washers in my batch of hardware junk. And they'll work perfect for isolating the nut and the spring from those connections. So I ran the screw through and then dropped the washer on top of it. And that forms the insulation barrier, at least just from that surface where the traces were cut. So I just put the nut over the top of it. Now the nut will hold the washer down, but it won't be able to touch those bad exposed connections. And then I just hand tighten it with a socket, and then I put the spring over the top of that. So really, these should be put at every corner. And 
also probably put right on top of the spring just to help isolate it from the metal plate below it. So that needs to be fixed and I'll let Wanho know about it. I'll let uh, Ultimate 3D Printing Store know about it and anyone else who sells this, if you see this video, please isolate these things before you ship them to customers. If this was my kid's printer, I'd take it away from them until I could fix that. That's how serious this is to me and how serious you should be taking it, in my opinion. Maybe I'm overreacting a bit. I mean, I want people to share this, so even if you don't have this printer, but you have a printer with a similar setup, you'll at least check and make sure you don't have this issue or potential issue that could show up down the road. I mean, I'm not looking to share this for subs or to get more Patreon support or anything like that. I'm just, I want this shared in the 3D print community so no one else has this issue and therefore we don't have sparks going off or someone touching it and getting a very serious high current poke. I mean that can be serious. There's high current going through these beds to heat up. That's why you need such a big high amperage power supply. It's the current going through these guys. So when I touched that spring I was actually getting a poke and that's that's what I was feeling. Not just the heat. I was feeling an electrical poke. So it's serious. Please check your machines. I hope this helps. I hope no one has this issue and it all gets fixed so it never happens again. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'm filling a Friday. <laughs>